Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Ryder, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in this interesting video. It's of a three-year-old child who attended with a piece of polystyrene packaging lodged deep in their right ear. The initial view was with the endoscope, but I decided to use the wax coat to remove this just because the speculum helps to stabilise um, the patient and the ear. Of course, the child is very young, very nervous, very anxious, and um, the wax scope, I felt, was just a better tool for this particular case um, because uh, we can really keep the patient still. So I'm used to using a fine end suction probe, managed to remove that polystyrene uh, piece that had been lodged in the air pretty, straight, pretty easily, straightforwardly. Now, th they also had some impacted wet wax right on the eardrum. So this is actually on the eardrum, and... This is where it just got a bit more complex because one of the patient's age and they were quite fidgety. Uh, the location of this wax, because it is on the eardrum. And two, because of being a child, I've got a very narrow ear canal. So I've just got the optimal view here and I'm just using a fine end suction probe. And I just removed that away somewhat from out of the inferior recess and the patient moved. So I just came out as quickly as I could. So just uh, reassured the, the child. And again, uh, as I was removing this, the patient moved, but slowly but surely we're bringing this out of the ear. So this was lodged right up against the eardrum. Now it's right near the entrance and we're just gonna remove it. And in this particular case, they're using our smaller specular, the 3.5 centimeter specular. So we're just trying to visualize inside the ear now. So you can see the eardrum there. It looks healthy enough, no um, trauma sustained. You can see the handle of malleus there. And we are now just going to move on to the patient's left ear. So in the left ear, there was no polystyrene piece, fortunately, but there was impacted wax and uh, the child's uh, mother had been using cotton birds. She, she, she did explain that she did. So just giving some general ear care advice. So as you know, guys, stay away from cotton birds. They further impact wax. They can cause trauma. And in fact, in this ear, you will see once I remove this wax off the eardrum, there is a slight bruise posteriorly on the eardrum itself. So similar to the patient's uh, right ear, just wanted to get the patient calm and steady and still. And again, the wax cap did help with that because the speculum is just opening a jar of the ear. Remove the wax posteriorly. Now this is just some dry keratin wax on the eardrum itself, on the anterior aspect, the front part. So again, we can see the majority of the eardrum now. This is right on the anterior quadrant. So we just got it in focus. Just gonna get the fine end. You can see once it's in view and the focus is there, we're at the right depth. And I'm just hovering over and I managed to just release that off the patient's eardrum. So I'm just going to go back in. So you can see that's that bruise at the back of the eardrum. Otherwise, I think it looks quite uh, well and healthy. Uh, patient can hear significantly better. So they did marvellously well being um, so still given their age. And in a moment, you're going to see a still image of uh, not only the wax, but the polystyrene foam piece that had become lodged in the patient's right ear. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And if you are a clinical ear care specialist or a healthcare professional who would like to get trained in earwax removal with the Waxscope or our iClearscope endoscope, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you.